Hello everyone, we will continue the topic module pool programming and we are covering process on value request event. And as a part of that, we fetched data from order header table. We are using this function module to assign the internal table values to this particular screen field. We pass the program name, screen number, returning field. Now I will go for value underscore org. Now this is explained in classical reports also, but we need to pass here. Suppose here it is a part of exporting. If I will double click in the function module, it will be the part of importing. If I will go to import, you can see for value underscore org, we have two values. One is C and one is S. C is cell by cell and S is structured. If I will go to documentation of this particular program, it is clearly saying in which scenario we need to go for S, in which scenario we need to go for C. Whenever you want to go for new development, whenever you want to assign new search help, whenever you want to assign new values, you need to take S. Anyways, we are not going into too much detail. Yes, what is S and what is C? C is cell by cell and S is structure. Whenever you are going for assigning the new search help or new values you are passing, always, always take S. And yes, in our current requirement, we are assigning the new values. We are going for a new development itself. We are assigning new help. So we will simply, simply pass the value S. So I will go for passing the value as S. Now best practices, we should always, always uncomment the exceptions. I will simply go for checking the syntax and I will activate. And we will see in that debugging mode, is it working or not? We will understand the full flow in the debugging mode. Now I will put a breakpoint and I will run this program. Now, whenever I will click on to this button, you all know process on value request event will call. And yes, this particular F4 is for which particular field LV underscore ONO. It is for LV underscore ONO. And for this particular field, we have this module. And the breakpoint will stop into this particular module. And we have written the logic in this particular module. Now I will go to desktop three. As of now, this internal table is blank. Whenever this query will execute, you can see in this internal table, we have the seven order numbers. Now at that time, I show, told you that I will show you the values of the screen variables. If you see the screen variable, is this our program name? Yes, this is our program name. If I will check, you can see this is our program name. If I will go for this system variable, 100 screen number. Yes, our this whole layout we designed on which particular screen, 100 screen. And if you see what the dime pro field we gave, LV underscore O and no, this relate here itself. For this particular program, yes, screen number 100, 
we are assigning a f for help from where internal table values you can see this internal table values whatever the seven values are there it will be assigned to this particular field of the screen now i will not go inside this particular function module i will just do f6 i am doing f6 and you can see we are able to get the values if i will show you have you seen we are able to see the values now the main main important part in the return field i have written o and o which field of the internal table you are returning it is o and o only so whenever i will simply come out you can see we have this particular f4 and whenever i will select have you seen this particular field is returned so returning is very important if i will go for another field now i will not show in that debugging mode so we are returning a particular field particular field value so now you can see we have the order number 2 so what is the summary of this particular video in this video i explained you in that debugging mode Firstly, we pass the value of value underscore org. We checked into this particular function module. It has two values. One is C and one is S. C is cell by cell and S is structured. For our current requirement, S is applicable because we are going for new development. We are going for new values. We are fetching data and we are assigning new values to this particular order number. So I have passed the value to this particular parameter as S. After that, we simply studied in the debugging mode. We saw the values of this particular system variables and whatever is in this internal table, we are assigning to this particular dyne pro field means we are assigning to this particular screen field and this particular field of the internal table we are returning now in the next video we will go for process on help request event so this is all about our process on value request event so that's it in this video. Thank you.